much. Uh, developing this morning, 18 police officers are hurt in a clash with protesters at the Christopher Columbus statue in Grant Park. CBS 2's V. Wynn is there right now with how a peaceful protest turned violent. V. Yeah, Suzanne, good morning. Things got really heated between that group of protesters and Chicago police last night around the Christopher Columbus statue here at Columbus and Roosevelt. Take a look this morning. You could see that crews with the Park District, they are still out here trying to secure the statue. They were able to remove some of the graffiti at the base of the statue overnight. An officer telling me earlier that crews are setting up a perimeter. Um, the plan right now is for them to put up a fence. You can see it going up now to prevent a repeat of what happened last night. Now, things got pretty heated again between officers and protesters. The situation escalated quickly when the large group moved from Buckingham Fountain to Grant Park. You can see from Chopper 2, officers were outnumbered as protesters gathered around the Christopher Columbus statue. It's been covered with a tarp for weeks. Last night, someone threw a rope over the statue and tried to bring it down. During the attempt, CPD says some protesters turned on officers and attacked them. Fireworks, rocks, frozen bottles, and other objects were being thrown at officers, many of them in riot gear. Officers had to deploy pepper spray to try to clear everyone out and move everyone out from Grant Park. Some people in the crowd telling CBS 2 News officers also mishandled a woman, a man who tried to record the situation, telling us that an officer took his phone and knocked it to the ground. Now, at least 14 people were arrested and could face battery and mob action charges. At least four protesters were also hurt um, during the situation last night. This this morning, we're hoping to hear from the superintendent and possibly from the mayor about what happened here last night and what are their plans moving forward if more demonstrations are planned for this weekend. Reporting live from Grant Park, V1 CBS 2 News.